have you ever created a report and presented to your stakeholders and your report users then ask you about specific details for a particular data point that is what we're going to do in this video we're going to talk about the drill through feature drill through feature allows you to access more detailed information about any data point when you navigate to another page so right here we have like a regional sales performance and we have two visuals they're showing the other total by product category and other total by product region let's say your report users they want to know which month had the highest sales for each of this region which of the product category contributed to the sales of this region these are some of the indices they may want to know and this can help them improve their sales strategy for any particular region so we're going to set up this drill through page and it's very simple and easy let me show you how to do it so right here on this page i'm just going to open up a new page to set up the drill through so on this page we're going to quickly select some card and table visuals and a line visual also to give more information or more details about our region so right here i'm going to insert a card so i'm going to select a card once i select this card i'll just drag it to this point and reduce it a bit we're going to be very fast because this page is not supposed to be very cumbersome but you can set it up based on your preference so after setting up the card visual, I'm going to open up my build a visual. Your visualization pane should be here where you have, where I have my build a visual. If you're using the oldest version of Power BI, then I'm just going to select a table. The next visual I want is a table. So this table is going to hold my product region, my product category, and of course my order total. So I'm just going to readjust it to this point. So for my other total, I just want to add a conditional formatting to it. Then I'm going to format this. I'm going to click format and go to cell elements. Then I'll scroll down. Under cell elements, I'll select the series I want to apply to, which is sum of other total. And then I'm going to select the data bars. So it has added data bars. I'll click here on this icon because I want to change the color of the bars. Let me use this particular color for my bars. I'm going to click OK. So that is it for that first table. I'm going to create another table. And this table is going to hold our product region, the month, and the sales. So right here, I'm going to add our product region. I'm going to add the month. So for the month, I'm going to select the other date. The other dates are selected as the hierarchy. So I don't want the year, month, and day. So I need only month. So I've removed the other ones. Then I'm going to select the other total. Then for the other total, so this is how it is. I'm just going to leave it here for now. This is how our table is. You can format yours, but I don't want to format anything right now. The last thing I'm going to add is a line chart. And this line chart, I'm going to bring it down here. I'll bring this that line chart down here and readjust it. For this line chart, we're going to add the months and the other total. So I'm going to select the other date and then I'll select the other total. So what I can do is to remove the year for the other date, remove this and remove this. Then I'll now drag my product region to the legend well. I'm going to drag this product region to the legend well. Since there are three regions, I want the three regions to show. It's like Europe is filtered already. Okay. So this is how this page should be. Then quickly, let me come over to this page. So let me copy something right from this page and take it to the other page. I'm going to copy this header. Just quickly bring it to this other page and put it here. I'm going to come to my visual and add a multi-row card. So for this multi-row card, I'll just add the region to it. So I want it to get filtered as I'm selecting any of these regions. So for this card, I'm going to select under this format and come down here. I'll just change this text to 24 to make it bold. 
I'll make it a little bit bold and that should be it. I want to remove the accent bar too. So basically that is it for our multi row card. So this is our drill through page right now. In order to make it a real drill through page, I'll come over to the page information right here and then I'm going to just change the page name at once. I'll say region sales detail. Then I'll change the page type to drill through. This is what's going to make this page a drill through page. It's not like the normal report page. It's a drill through page. Then once I change that, I'm going to drag in our product region because you have to add a column, a data column that corresponds to what you want to add. So I'm going to drag in this drill through and I'll also decide to add the product category to the second data point. So once you convert this page to a drill through page, Power BI automatically gives you a back arrow icon, this back arrow icon here, that is going to help you go back or navigate back to the previous page. So if you don't want to use this Power BI icon, you can use your own preferred image. So that is that. So let's go and see how our drill tool is going to work. We'll come to the sales summary. And here we want to see the sales for Europe. We want to see a more detailed information for Europe. Once you over on this, you're going to see right click to drill tool and I'll select it. Click to drill tool and select the region sales detail. So right here, you can see that the information is showing for Europe because it is Europe we selected. So this other total is only for Europe and you can see the product category that is doing so well in Europe, which is the mountain bikes. You can see the months that is doing well in Europe as well, which is March. And even this line visual also shows you some information about March. So once you select any data point and it drill through to that particular page, it's going to filter based on that data points that you selected. So this is how the drill tool works. So right here, your report users can see all the detailed information they need to see about region or just about any entity they actually wanted to see information for. So if we want to go back to that original page, we'll just click here, right down, we'll click control and click on this icon to take us back to this page. Another thing I want to say is when you create a report like this, your report users may not originally know that there is a drill through page to anything except they start overing on all of this. So to make it more visible to them, we are going to create a button that will take us to our drill through page. So I'm going to click on insert tab and on this insert tab, I'll just use a shape. You can use a button, but I just want to use a shape. Then I'm bringing this shape right here. Let me readjust this shape and drop it here. So I have a measure. Let me open up the measure and quickly show you what it's saying. I have a measure called button details. So this measure right now is saying if the selected value, that's product region is equal to zero, show region details. If not, show go to region details for selected value. It's quite an easy DAX formula. So I'm going to select this. Then I'll select back my button and go over to shape it. So first off, I'm coming to shape style. So under the shape style right here, in order for us to fill the text, I'm going to turn on the text. And under this text, instead of typing a text, because we want to use a measure, I'm going to click here for so conditional formatting. Then for the field value, we're going to select our button details measure and select OK. So you can see it is showing region details because nothing is being selected. If I select on any of these data points, so once any of these data points is selected, you can see it's saying going to region details for Asia, go to region details for North America. So that is what the button basically does. So for this button now, we want to make it look like it's disabled when nothing is selected. So for the fill, we're going to select the fill. And on this fill, we're going to select, we're going to give it a conditional formatting color. Then we're going to select under here, I'm going to select rules. And rules, these rules will be based on the button details. 
So since it's a text, if you overrun it, it says text should be an exact match. That means the text should be an exact match of what you added to the measure. So I'm going to select, I'm going to type rather, I'm going to type region details. So it's saying if this text is region, if this value is region details, then give it this color. So I'm going to give it this particular color and then I will click OK. So right now you can see that our button has changed. This is how our button is. So we'll select back our button because we still need to format it to a drill through button. So under this action, this is the main point. So you have to toggle on this action and then you select it. And under the action type, you select drill through. Once you select drill through and you come over to destination and select your region details cells. So that is it for the drill through. And for the tooltip, if you don't add anything, Power BI will automatically add a tooltip for you. Like I'm hovering on this now, you can see to drill through to region cells detail, select a single data point. We'll allow that to be, but when you're creating your own, you can decide to format the tooltip by adding another text. So this is how this button looks like. If I select any region here, this button automatically turns to this green color showing us that it is active now. This is because if you're not selecting anything, you cannot go to the next drill through page. You have to select a data point first to take you to the drill through page. So let's say I select data points for North America. It's going to show go to North America. Then if I click control plus, this button is taking us to the drill through page to see the information for North America. Then we can also go back from this particular page. So this is how drill through feature works in Power BI. Let me know if you've tried out this feature before and what you think about it. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel for more insightful and informative video like this. Thank you.